doing Justin here in this lesson today we are checking out the amazing Imagine by John Lennon one of the most beautiful and important songs of all time I think so uh, let's get started um, we're doing kind of open chordy sort of stuff uh, of course there's a, that classic piano riff which you can put in there's a way of playing it but for me it kind of interrupts the song there a bit so I put it in at the beginning just because it's such a signature part of the song and I'll show it to you but uh, you might not want to do it all the time you know so uh, the first thing to notice is when you've got this C to C major 7, the major 7 is just going to happen on beat 4. So you've got C, 2, 3, 4, F, 2, 3. And if you want to put that, it's happening on 3 and 4 and, and it's starting 2nd finger, 2nd fret, 3rd string. 3rd finger, 3rd fret, 3rd string, open 2nd string, 1st finger, 1st <laughs> fret, 2nd string, my lord. And you want to leave your 1st finger down when you go for that C chord. Four. I know people are going to ask. I'm playing an F major 7 a lot in this song. You can play regular F with a regular F bar chord if you want, but I think the F major 7 sounds nice too. And I'm just lifting off my second finger. It gives kind of an F major 9 sound, and um, I just like the sound of it. It sounds, I think it sounds cool. You don't have to put it in. It's easy if you try. Now at that point I normally go to a proper big F, but you don't have to, you could play F major 7 still if you want, but imagine C with an E bass. Now you can just play a regular C chord with that low E if you want. I tend to kind of play it like it's a a minor 7 I guess so like a C chord but lift off the third finger and I kind of push up a little bit with my second finger to mute the A string the fifth string just think it kind of sounds nicer as a voicing so F imagine C with an E bass to D minor and the D minor I'm making sure that I use my fourth finger on the note D the third fret of the second string because we want to use our third finger to reach over there to the third fret of the fifth string, so we get a D minor with a C bass. So just that little sequence again, F, C with an E bass, D minor, D minor with a C bass, and then to G, C, G, or G7. Doesn't really matter that bit. I quite often just stay on it the G chord, I don't do the G, C, G, just kind of, you can do it if you want, so it'll be G, G, C, G7, 
seven. That's probably the closest to the piano part on the record. But yeah. And then there's another verse, which would be the same. Uh, but skipping straight over to the chorus, we got F. You may J, I was C, C major seven, E, E seven to F. It's a really nice little movement here. Um, it's kind of followed on the piano, you know, the way the piano works, the, the notes sit nice. I think it works nice on guitar too, so just C, just a beat each. C major 7, so lift off the first finger, E to E7. And it's the same. But I'm not the only one. C, C major 7, E, E7, F. I hope some G you will see major 7, E, E7, F. And the G will see as one. And that's kind of the tune. Now you want to start with just, of course, as usual, simple strumming. As soon as you're cool with that, I'd, I'd, I'd end up putting like a 16th. So with one. That's kind of the groove that for me kind of sits nice. You can get all fancy with, you know, playing a C chord and hammering on that second finger. A song like this doesn't need it to be too complicated. It would be very easy to overcook it and, and end up uh, having too much stuff in there, but it's a beautiful song and uh, one that scared me to teach a little bit because it's such a great one. I didn't want to kind of, you know, muck it up. But anyway, there you go. That's uh, Imagine by John Lennon. Beautiful song. Uh, hope you enjoy playing it as much as I do and uh, see you for another song or lesson very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.
they say I'm a dreamer But I'm not the only one 